What's up with everybody, man? I am your host, Ivy, and you're sparking up with Vans and Weed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notifications button, man. So we got Mari Peso outside with us. So it's Mari Peso from No Good E&T, man. Happy yeah, to be man. here. Yeah, we've been trying to get my nigga on for so long, Facts, man. Facts, man. Be overdue, man. You know, yeah. I'll be out the way and hey, shit. Yeah. Man. For sure, for sure. Let's talk yeah. about it, though. Let's talk. What, why you move out the bay? Uh, honestly, man, I just feel like it's so many different routes to get money outside of Cali. Like, so many motherfuckers be just obsessed with living in Cali, Cali, Cali. Mm. But it's like, it's a lot of different money towns if you really just, you feel me, you get out and you explore and network and shit. You know, when I go, when I go OT, you feel me, I don't know, I feel like I just meet more motherfuckers with money. Like, it seems like motherfuckers in Cali, at least in the Bay where I'm from, like, motherfuckers that have money, they be mad, they don't want to put niggas on, they don't want to share no never, huh? sauce, no method, you feel me? I got out of state, you feel me? I mean, y'all y'all can see, like, my shit started turning up. Facts, and, facts, facts. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. I ain't gonna lie, like, staying in your hometown could kind of, like, you know, leave you stagnant type yeah. shit and make, leave you kind of like, damn, I don't know what to do next. But right. when I look at, like, a person like LaRussell, how he making a way in the hometown, too, yeah. I see that it is possible, though. Yeah, but, it's, it's fact, but it's, like, it's different, though, when you... Like, no dis disrespect to La Russell, I don't know what he be into, but when you a street rapper and Thanks. you like you coming from the streets rapping about street shit, mm. it's a different it's a different audience, you feel me? Yeah. Like if when you not rapping about that type of shit, it's easy for everybody to come like support you, you know, push you up. When you from different hoods and different spots, you know, someone might not wanna support you just cause you from this place. So you Thanks. bang this hood and you this. So like, you know, street rap is just it's a different avenue and it's tougher. Yeah, it yeah. is tougher, man. Yeah. So this is tougher. Why'd you want to take that route then? Uh, I mean, I tried making different type of music, but I got to be myself at the mm, end of the day. It's all about right. authenticity. So yeah. it's like, come on, man. And I felt, and even when I dropped certain music, I used to try to drop, like, you know, make like party songs or shit. I even tried to make auto tune yeah, shit. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But like, even when people used to hear it, it's like, okay, like, all right, the bars sound good, but it's like, you don't even sound like comfortable when you make it. Right, like, right, like, right. It, it ain't true. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's not true. Then I go make some shit. It's like, yeah, like this is your bag. Thanks. You feel me? And it's Thanks. like, and it's just easy for me to rap about my life for, yeah. for the most part. Like, oh, that's why all my my songs they be freestyles. It be easy to just I'm Punch just in. I'm just narrating what I seen and what I experienced. Right, you know? it's you. So, yeah. It's you. It can't be nothing but you, man. Yeah. That's a fact, man. Uh, so let's get into it, man. Let, um, tell the people where you from. Um, what was your household like? Um. The, you know your beginnings yeah yeah so uh i grew up in san pablo california in east oakland mm -hmm. so i was in san pablo probably like the first half like before i'm a teen type shit right then when i turned to a teen that's when i moved to east oakland and i'm back and forth wiggling and shit thanks so uh yeah uh i grew up it was a lot of love in the house man yeah. Yeah. not a whole lot of money but a whole lot of love you feel me i'm the oldest of six I got a lot of siblings. Damn, six. No daddies around, so mm -hmm. you feel me? I had, a, I had a real father figure role, like, growing up. Like, I'm, like, the closest in age is probably, what, eight years? That's probably the closest in age I am to my siblings. So, yeah. uh, just really, I had to hold the house down, hold my mom's down. My mom's handicapped. She's been handicapped since I was born. Oh, so, wow. she can't work. Mm -hmm. and don't got no pops. So, I really just had to take control at a real early age right. you know i i just i grew up fast it's really how it was you facts, know facts. that's how i always been told like, i was mature for my age but right. you know you, you gotta be when you the man in the house at 13 facts, like you facts. if you're not mature like especially with how my mom is like you know she ain't all the way out her mind you feel me but she you know she'll be doing some dissy shit like yeah, she the yeah, type yeah. like i come home and she might have a motherfucking murderer she talk uh, from high school she know in the living room and she talking about Hell something nah. oh i'm catching up with a friend right. i'm like Nah, I, I got to get, get this nigga out the house. Right, right, like, right. You know, thanks, so thanks. Just having to protect her, protect the house, you know. So that that's really how I was growing up, yeah, man. For sure. I mean, I wasn't too much of a bad kid. I got, I had my troubles, you know. School getting kicked out, suspension, typical hood nigga shit, bro. Yeah, to be honest, right, like, yeah. but you know, it's still me. So, right. uh, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. So, um, 
since you have a son now, and you know you didn't grow up with you know your, your father in your in your in your home or around. Yeah. Um, did that make you be like, okay, I'm gonna be in my son life. I'm being my kid life. You know what I'm saying? Almost like, this is, this definitely. Is what I'm gonna do? I mean, at first, I I be honest, like how I grew up. I used to say I'm never having kids. Yeah. <laughs> I used yeah, to be like, yeah, after yeah. this, I'm never watching a kid again. Right, after right, this, right, right. Like, but once I had him on the way, it was like, you know, and once I really seen him, I like, had him in my head, it's like, I'm going to do everything in my power to be what I didn't have right. growing up. That's really, that and that kind of became my life goal, my motivation. So it really just, you know, got my priorities straight. Right. I say that for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so with being the man of the house and, you know, your mother raising you, yeah. how did you learn to be a man how did you how did you you know what i'm saying did you have other people like uncles yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that like that i, I said I, ha I had a whole lot of i had a lot of good father figures in my life i yeah. say for sure that's really what made me the man i am like and that's from family to mentors at school like you know i have like certain men in school might take an interest in me like see like think i'm smart or whatever the case and you know yeah, when yeah, they help yeah. me out I remember I was in high school, this this one black dude, he was like a lawyer or something. Like, you know, he kind of took an interest in me, took me under his wing a bit. He used to be buying me clothes, food, all type of shit. Like, so it's them kind of people in my life that kind of touched my life and really blessed me and gave me the game. My uncles, um, you know, free my uncle Dave, you feel me? He he went down for a dub when I was like 10, but mm -hmm. he, he a big figure in my life. You yeah. know, I'm talking to him all the time. He always in my ear. Uh, my grandpa too, he, he probably the biggest one that, really taught me how to be a man like yeah. he really he like a cowboy bro he from <laughs> he, he from arkansas yeah. he real like old school cowboy Down like south. you know yeah. like even he got his drink he got his pistol don't right. fuck with <laughs> him, <so laughs> board, you know, chilling. Pistol, yeah he really thorough though like yeah. he take care of his family he really showed me you know yeah. how you supposed to do it beautiful Beautiful. I'm glad you had that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because a lot of a lot of young black men do not have any father right. figures. So they look to the streets for right. it. You feel me? And it, 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 it's sad, man. It's it very is. sad, bruh. Um, so where did music come into play? And I always, I always mm. ask people like, oh, like, you know, when you start listening to music, ooh, ooh, yeah. but I always be like, okay, well, you know, I feel like music is just a part of being human. It's, it's just, yeah. we automatically like it. We, I, don't, I never met anybody that didn't like music. Right. <laughs> like, I don't, yeah, exactly. it, like, you may not like rap, but you may yeah, like rock. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me, different genres, but I never met nobody that didn't like music. So, yeah. where did your love for music come from, though? I say, it probably, I don't know, I, like, it's, everybody say they always been into music, but I really always been in, like, since I was like four or five, six, like, I used to buy CDs, you know, I, that's what, like, for my birthdays, Christmas, that's what I asked for. Like, I want the new Lil Wayne CD, I want mm -hmm. the Kanye CD, I want Drake, I want Chris Brown, I want, I, I had the posters up, all this shit, but what really solidified it, uh, I started playing piano yeah. when I was, like, real young. My, uh, my grandma, she just pushed that shit heavy, and I got, I got real good at it. Mm. Like, I was, like, I'm doing performances, getting paid, all, right, type, all right. type of shit like that. Oh, you that. a real piano kid, for real yeah, piano? Yeah, 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 yeah like, real. like, I could read music, all, all that. Yeah, so, yeah. That's where it started. Then, what rapid come into play? So I say like, uh, this really how it started too. This is a real origin story too. So, come on, get into it. Uh, me and my niggas, we had like this little rap group, uh, and it wasn't even a rap group. Matter of fact, we just had clicks. Like in the Bay, uh, when I was growing up in high school, everybody used to make their little clicks and throw parties. And, yeah, for sure. So, uh, one of my partners, he had a birthday coming up. So we was like, you feel me? We gonna make a song to perform at the party. We, yeah, we, yeah. His, his mama had hella cheese and shit. So we had her uh, hire hella. Hella rappers come out perform at the party. Yeah. K E, nigga, Lil Kayla, Project Papa, like that's well, fired up. You, you know what yeah, time yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, so come on. we like we finna make a uh, song for the party. And then crazy part is we didn't even finish the song for the party. Like we <laughs> we laid down like half of it. We never finished it or performed there or nothing. So it was just kind of dead after that. Then one day I just go back because I I be smoking with my friends and like we'll freestyle right. And my homie he was just looking at me and he was like, bro, you really can rap. Like you can't yeah. say you be saying some shit when yeah, you freestyle. Yeah, like, yeah, you need yeah. to go record. I'm like right. For real, bro. Then I just I go back in. Uh, I make a couple tracks. I think what was it? My first song was it was a remix. Matter of fact, to a Lil Kayla song. It was yeah. a she made it that come get your nigga shit. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I made I made a come get your bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I post that bitch on SoundCloud. It did like 30k like first month. And that's that big. And that's my first song. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody ain't getting that their first song. And that's really that's really what's kept me going in my whole career. Like it's been many times where I stop where I'm like kind of like chill. But shit just keep happening. Like opportunity, like a song will just blow up or buzz, or somebody hit a label hit me up or a rapper hit me up. I'm like, damn, I gotta keep going now. Yeah, type I too. Of so 
that's really how, how I keep going. That's a fact, man. Let's talk about the origin story of No Good ENT. Yeah. Um, where did y'all meet, man? Where did you meet, where did you meet President Benz, man? Um, how did I start the group? How did how did come how did you come okay. up with the name? All that shit. Okay, give it, so, give it to us all, man. So uh, I've been knowing him since I was like what 13, mm-hmm. 12, 13. So we childhood met, best friend. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we met like junior high school. I remember. I think matter of fact, the first thing we even said to each other. I think. We was in uh, PE class, and we was set. We was both in the back. I turned around, looked at him. He like, he said, "The fuck you looking at?" Like that's the first thing this nigga said to me. <laughs> I, first day, me and I'm. I said, "Nigga, I'll beat your ass, nigga. You better, you feel me?" And then we didn't say shit to each other after that for like yeah. weeks. Yeah. We like that's all. That's all we had said. Mm-hmm. Then what we really bonded is so. Both the females that liked us was best friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. type shit. So right, then we right. kind of linked up through that, and yeah. then from there it's kind of. It was always females type of thing. Like we were, you know, two men type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, I already know what the vibe <laughs> going is. on the two yeah. men. So how the rapping came into play. So we had a group before, but uh it was it just wasn't really working out. Like niggas wasn't vibing together with the rap shit. Niggas ain't putting in the same amount of time, money, you know, just right, right. having them troubles from the the beginning ain't facts, never facts. good. So I took a break from that. Then I went I just really got back in the street shit heavy, heavy, heavy for like Two years straight. I'm like, all I'm doing is I'm just hustling, taking care of my family, right, pretty much. Like, right. now I'm going to school, working jobs, and in the streets. Right. Like all, and dropping my sisters and brothers off at school like right. every day. This is my yeah. life. So, uh, then I end up getting locked up. So when I got out, I'm like, all right, bro, I'm gonna pick this music shit back up. We we had our no good ENT like no good came from girls just call just saying we no good yeah like, <laughs> so they call yeah. us no good so we ended up calling our crib the no good headquarters right. so that's what we called the apartment mm-hmm. then we ended up just saying all right we that's gonna be the rap name too like this is gonna be no good ENT right so it started with the first song it was Jack Party and I shot that my that was basically my first day out type right. shit yeah that shit did like what like hundred K on Instagram the first week. And I think I like 90k on YouTube right now, yeah. so it's so uh, that's that's really what kicked it off. And that's how I was like, yep. Hell yeah, man! Y'all be we, y'all be doing the numbers for sure. Like I always feel like, why didn't y'all get talked about on like certain platforms? You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, they actually got numbers, more numbers than certain niggas that you feel me? Hey, you wouldn't know what it is though, for real. I feel like a lot of people try to write us off as like out of state rappers. Like I, I'll always get shit like, um, like oh uh, y'all from Detroit. Like mm-hmm. people be doing saying shit like that. So. And and we hella anti too to a certain extent. Like Y'all we don't we don't we don't be outside trying to link with everybody, yeah. all the all the all that type of shit too. So you if, only people who really know is out you gotta be in the streets to really have ran into us like on some type of shit. So I feel like now though, now that we coming around more, doing more collabs, like I feel like this is the year where I'm gonna be more accepted as a Cali artist. Right. And I have to switch my beats up too. Like I was rapping on straight Detroit and Flint I can't like yeah. It ain't like people was pulling that shit out of thin air. Be slapping. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. So what you supposed to do? Like, and, and then and on top of that, like we kind of tried, we pioneered that shit in the bay. Like, no lie. Like, we was the first ones rapping on the energy beats, the Flint beats. We making funny, funny little, right. little shit. You feel I'm what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all can check the dates on YouTube if yeah, I'm lying. But I'm talking. Niggas not lying. We on energy beats before Lion J even dropped Coochie. Come you on, could, man. You can look I, it up on lying. YouTube right now. You not like, lying. So yeah. You know, we kind of brought that style to the bay and to Cali. You know, we probably never get credit for. It. I don't even want the credit. I don't because that shit weak anyway. Y'all can make them boo boo ass song, <laughs> one minute freestyle song, no yeah, chorus. Right. I'm trying to make some real music. Facts, facts. Mm-hmm. I feel that, man. So, um, shit, y'all don't work with a, like, we talking about Detroit right now. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't work with a few Detroit artists, you yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Y&J with the Coochie Dance. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, YSR Grams, uh, yeah. TJX6, shit, people like that, you yeah. feel me? Um, so, why haven't you worked with any Bay artists? Um, honestly, I don't know, motherfuckers just be weird. It's like, I don't, know, I, feel, I don't know if people was just trying to act like I wasn't there. I feel like it's maybe niggas was intimidated just because of how crazy my bars is. You know, mm, I feel like people just yeah. don't want to give me my props because they feel like I'm going to take their spot. But right. at the end of the day, it's a lane for everybody. You know, everybody can't be the lyricist. Everybody can't have the best flow. Everybody ain't going to make the best hooks. Like, you know, right, you thanks. just... Cali, NorCal niggas, they don't understand, like... We all gotta find our lane and excel in your lane, and that and we can all shine. It's yeah. enough money for it, everybody. Literally, it's enough literally. room for everybody. Right? You know, you but go, people don't, don't understand that though. No, and they, and they don't want to work together. But but this year, I got I got some collabs in the works right now with some some of the biggest names in Cali, in yeah. NorCal for yeah. sure. So 
this year you're gonna see a lot more Cali collabs For and sure. I'm on straight Cali beats and all that. I don't yeah. wanna hear nothing. I ain't from Detroit, nothing, man. Right. East Oakland, Bay Area. Come that's on, it. man. I love it. I love it, bruh. So, um, What's up with President Benz, bro? I just went on his page. He got business attire and hell of shit. I'm like, what is, hey, what hey, is this hey. nigga doing? My my nigga, he really on his business shit for yeah, real. Like yeah, he for really sure. he on some CEO shit. Like, I'm talking about he's starting labels, businesses, right. like like done rapping type shit. Like he's gonna he like no, nah, he like he dip and dabble, but he really going into the manage managers type of it. That's yeah. that's the best way I can really say. Like he going into a management position. He managing me. You know, making sure all my moves are straight from yeah. a legal perspective and making sure my money good and I got everything, so, yeah. Facts, facts, man. I know everybody been wanting to ask that question. Like, what oh, about yeah. that nigga? People ask like, me, they like, on? what you, like, nah, I just, we just dropped a song, the, well, not a song, but someone dropped a feature with us the other day, and he made my beats, too. Like, oh, okay, you make your he, beats. Like, he, he producing whole albums for me and shit right now, oh, okay. so he, y'all gonna see a lot yeah, more. Yeah, we excited, man, for sure, for sure. Um, what the fuck happened to Presidential Grills? <laughs> What the fuck happened to we that saw, shit? We saw that motherfucker. You saw that motherfucker? Yeah, 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 bro. That shit, it was just, it was too much business, mm. niggas I do. Yeah, no, I, I feel that shit. I used to change ownership. Hey, look, I used to love your girl, the Triton, with the one motherfucker with the rose gold, the hey, silver, and the, I gotta, and the gold. I gotta redo that bitch bust down. What I'm, happened to you? You lost it? Nah, I still got, got that it? bitch, yeah. yeah. Why you don't wear that motherfucker? I still like that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I ain't been, I don't be wearing my jewelry. I got chains, hell of shit. Yeah, I, I be I seeing you wear your, why not? Really, I lose shit like a motherfucker. But Ooh, if I'm gonna be, too. if I'm gonna be so honest, Boy. hey, look, she over here now. Yeah. I ain't gonna lose lie, shit like a motherfucker. It ain't. Hey, I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't scared to get nothing took. <laughs> I ain't scared of no nigga. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm scared of myself, nigga. Losing that motherfucker. Yeah. And nah, I feel right, it though, yeah. for sure, for sure. So, uh, working with we, we the party shine, man. Yeah. I just want to say, people don't give him enough credit when it comes to like. People that started in the Bay no. really doing their shit. Like, he made a lot of videos for niggas that, would, you know, the songs we were yeah, slapping, like, for yeah, a yeah. long time. A whole childhood, it, right? Come on, bro. And, like, it's really quality, too. I love that. Because, you know, some videographers, they just pick up a camera and just think, okay, yeah. I'm going to just shoot a video at all these transitions, yeah, and it doesn't yeah. look good. But y'all videos always look good. Your video yeah. always look good, man. Like you just like you said when I was talking on Instagram, quality over quantity. Facts. That's you what I'm me? going for. Like, yeah. I, I don't. I'm not the type. I don't want the cheapest video. I ain't trying to Come just drop on. a bunch of boo boo videos in the hood with Speak 30, these 30, 30 they be niggas doing and that. guns and yeah. just bounce around the hood. Like uh, I'm trying to make that. real movies because that at the end of the day, that's what the label's looking for. Like yeah. they want artists that's developed. They don't want you know. They want numbers and they want you to be developed. Yeah. So it's like. If you ain't got the numbers, you need to be real polished when they come in and look at your shit. That's so, a fact. You know, and I, I just I like to look good. When I watch my videos, I don't want my shit all blurry and now don't even you feel me. How you gonna be rapping about money in your you your video what four four eighty p what what's that shit? Come on, Two, your bruh. shit. Uh, nah, <laughs> nah ten eighty type shit. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like like I said, with hella transitions looking hella boosy. Um, um, we want to see cinematic shit. Thanks. You feel what I'm saying? I'm tired of look, y'all. Spend your money the correct way. If you don't got it, then nigga, you not ready to rap then. Hey. This should take money. Hey, Seriously. Yo, if yo if yo fit two thousand dollars, your budget better be double that Come on, bro. Yo, yo fit shouldn't be more than the video. Let's video talk about budget, it, niggas man. be having Balenciagas on with a one hundred dollar video looking so boozy. I'm, I'm tired of that shit. You niggas waiting around for my nigga. We the party trying to do these video deals, man, with them designer clothes. You need to save your money, get save a video budget, get a oh, real man. video. That's a fake. You feel me? You gotta do it right. You gotta if you gonna do music, do it serious. I'm not in. I mean, I don't know about everybody, but some people do this shit as a hobby. I'm not here to do this shit as a hobby. Mm -hmm. I'm I put money in this shit. I'm here to get paid. So nah, for sure. I gotta put in the same work so I can get what I want out of it. Right, right, exactly, man, exactly. Um, so would you would in the beginning? Well, with no good NT, y'all making yeah. music. Would y'all say y'all be trolling type shit? Like what y'all say? Like no, that's the crazy part about <laughs> it. Like I used. And you guys bands, I used to be mad. I used to be like, why is these niggas laughing? Like, I'm dead ass serious. Oh, like, that should be funny though. But people, like, if you know it's in real life, like people that know, they know that's our actual personality. Yeah. Like it ain't like some people they go into the studio, they turn into a different person. I like, know we really we talk shit like that on a daily. Like, that's just how we talk. Like, right. We just you know we just point shit out and you feel me? It just happened to be funny. I guess the way we phrase it, yeah, but I be yeah. I be dead ass serious. 
For and, sure. And people be thinking the shit I be saying, they, like, I be making shit up and over exaggerate. I do not be exaggerating. They like, be dead I, ass. I, I be dead <laughs> ass here. Like, oh, my mama. Even the crazy, like, just seeing somebody hella dirty or the bum shit, that shit. <laughs> I, man. Oh, God, bro. You feel me? Stank ass bitch in the club. She took an air bath. <laughs> not she, an air bath. she ain't washed with no water. Like, she really. <laughs> She hey, look, man. Smell like in and out onions. And nah, shit, right? and th- that's what I love too. And that's what I love about Rio. Rio be saying some out of pocket <laughs> shit. <laughs> it be crazy. Oh man, I can't remember the line he said. Something about oh. pissing on the bitch or some shit like that. I don't know nah. what the fuck he said, but it, it be, be it be. It's like niggas have fun with the shit too. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Like we and, like that. You got you know, to like you we got we, to, bro. And people, I feel like. The fans and the listeners, they feel the vibe too. Like yeah. you could, you know, we was in there cracking the fuck up man, after I said that shit. Right. Like, nigga, I got the engineer falling out the chair. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, yeah, like, I, bet, I bet they do. Like, <laughs> say that shit. Hey, it's, it's good vibes. Oh bro. god, bro! Every yeah. time, every time. So, um, you're married, right? Yep. Yep. Um, and you're young. Yes, um, I am. You are very young. Right? Well, not very young, but you know mm. what I'm saying. To be, because yeah. people when I when, when we look at marriage, we think of people being 40, 30, 30, 30s, you know, late 20s, you know, uh, 40s and shit like that. What made you want to be like, okay, I'm going to settle down with my lady and be like, I'm, I'm going to get married? Honestly, bro, so it was probably like, I was just in the middle, of, like my music was just taking off a lot. And I was getting a lot of attention in certain ways from females or whatever the case. So, but uh, her, I've been, I've been dealing with her for like years before that. So we was kind of like doing an on and off type of thing, but. You know, I'm just, you know, you feel me? Sometimes you just take a look at your roster, you feel me? And I'm just like, man, am I, is this something I really want to keep doing? Like, or really, she came back into my life for real, like trying to be serious, like yeah. real serious lock in type of shit. So right. I'm just, I'm looking at all my options. I'm like, am I really going to just keep being records all this, or am I going to just take this woman who's trying to take me serious, hold me down, you feel right. me? And just lock in. And so I just, I felt like it was a more mature decision. It was something I wanted to do. Right. I felt like it would work for my life, you feel me? It ain't, it don't, marriage ain't for everybody, yeah, you know? For sure. but. When you got a certain plan like I do, like I got a set plan and goals, I know exactly how I'm gonna get there. And you know, having a female in your corner, that's that's what's gonna help me, you know. I'd rather just deal with one woman, you know, that's holding me down, got the right morals, everything. On. Especially on top of that, I don't really like condoms, bro. So I'm not finna be out <laughs> just nigga. fucking on this this right, who. Right. I'm keep, I'm keeping it a yeah, fuck. Yeah, nah, I ain't finna just real, be out man. here fucking on. So it's like, oh, all right, I'm gonna be fucking anybody. You gotta be somebody I want to have my kid. You right, know what right. I mean? That's a fact. She was the only one I felt like was worthy of having my kid. For right. Real, so that that helped this decision for sure. Hell yeah, that's beautiful, man. Especially with it, you know us being young and shit like that like there's plenty of other people out there. But if you have somebody that's gonna stick with you through anything. Why not be with that one person instead of dogging them out or some sh- you know shit like Facts. that or you know yeah. doing hella other shit, being with hella other people when you have that one person that's gonna always fuck with you. That's and make sure I mean, you good. It, it, it looks ain't everything, bro. Like you always gonna find people who look better than you or look better than your that's significant other. That, that, it's the world. It's, it's the world. It's bound to be somebody who look better. Yeah. But is that motherfucker gonna hold you down? Is that motherfucker gonna listen to you yeah. when you down? Are they gonna no Man. half the time? It's, it's no. It, it be about the looks though. You feel me? Oh, she yeah. look better. Let me just look, yeah. bro. You got you a good one. You know what I'm saying? Cause when exactly. it's over and it's gone, it's over. Exactly. Come and, on, yeah, bro. and guess what? <laughs> it's the bad bitch is always gonna be here, bro. They, they always gonna be here. And they going to the next. Whoever got it, whoever got, whoever the, got the most money. Got the cloud, oh, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. You gotta, on, you gotta man. look past that, cause especially when it come to having kids and really starting a life, like bro, right. I'm not picking. Who gonna raise my son off how she look? Like, right. I need to know that when I leave him, when I go out, I'm wiggling, I'm in the studio, I'm this. He was somebody that got good morals, that know what they do, that's gonna Facts. take care of him. That's a fact. Not all these women out here is good, is built to be mothers and hold and built, built to build a home, you feel me? Yeah. Go wash your clothes and cook dinner and Hell yeah. I ain't doing that. You know, it's a whole lot of Cardi B's out here. Man, man. come on, they, man. They, they, they. A lot of sexy a, reds. Ain't nobody trying to do that shit. They be looking for the hoochie daddies and shit. What that nah, bitch say? Nah, nah. <laughs> even you. Oh, okay, I need to stay at home. Mom, yeah. even you ain't, ain't none of that. Yeah, nah, I feel that, man. It's different strokes with different folks, man. You feel me? Oh, Absolutely. God. Um, so let's talk about the hair growth, bro. Y'all, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, niggas hair to grow hella fast. <laughs> God damn. When I was in the braids, <laughs> I was like, then this nigga Mori just has a fro. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, what made you want to grow your hair out, man? Um, these barbers, bro. I'm going to keep it a bean. I fuck with waves in the shortcut. Niggas keep cutting me and giving me scabs and cuts and... Let's talk about it, nigga. What? Yo, yeah. hey, hey. 
This to you barbers. Y'all want to cut a nigga up, Edward Scissorhead, and then and get the enhancements and draw on them motherfuckers. Think it's going to... I look in the mirror the next day. The I whole look, cut? Look like I ain't get no cut. Look, I look like I got my ass beat. Nigga, I pay 65. I, what what happened to my cut? That, don't And don't talk... Nigga, $50 lineup? I don't even get a taper in the back, bro. You get cut all around at least. Yeah, bro. All I get is front taper, niggas be for fifty for just a taper. Fifty. I ain't even got a beard, bro. I ain't even got shit. Man, these I feel like you niggas are scamming us. At this point, nope. I'm gonna learn how to do this shit myself. That's why I said long hair. Yep, I get cut what twice a month. Right. I don't care if you see me rough. Hey. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. fuck I'm, I'm not spending fifty dollars every I'd rather, week. I'd rather go get me some some smokes, nigga, something to eat. Come on, bro. I go spend that on one meal before I spend that on the I haircut. Swear to, man, you get a pair of little Vans for sixty five dollars. You hear me? That's gonna last you a little bit. You hear me? Right, oh God, bro, niggas. Hey, all I can say is do better, barbers. Hey, do fucking better. Cause hey, we don't want to cut our own hair, and, nigga. And like we was talking about earlier, I'm married, so I ain't out here trying to impress. No, I ain't gotta get a haircut. Sure, well, you niggas gotta get. I ain't single. You gotta get a haircut. He got his lady already. I'm. Straight. You hear me? I'm straight. Oh God, oh God, bro. Uh, the project with EBK Juvie, man, Beta Stockton. Ooh. Talk a little bit about it. It's not out yet, right? Nah, not nah, out nah, yet. Nah. You so, gonna know when it's out. But talk you gonna a know little bit out. about the project. You don't have to give us everything, but just a All little right. bit. What's the vibes, man? The vibes is we taking over NorCal with this project. Come on. Is this is the hottest project that's gonna drop in Northern California, 2023? I believe it. It's got some big features. I ain't telling y'all. Big names on there. You ain't gonna wanna miss it. You're gonna be hearing this motherfucker all throughout Cali when it drops. I'm trying to tell you. I think first first video drop, I think next week this is supposed to be dropping it. So yeah, it's up. Like all Hell the yeah. way up. Like Hell this yeah. when you hear this motherfucker, you're gonna be like, yeah. Bro, I'm excited, bro. My it's just, it's some of my best music. Yeah. Uh, my best bars, all right, that. Right. Like, really right. put my foot in. We really like we spent it months on this project. It ain't mm -hmm. like we just slapping songs together. Like we Making 20, 30, 40 songs, picking through the best ones. Right, all right. That, like, taking our time for real. So it's going to be real quality. Come on, man. How'd y'all meet? Uh, shit. We we linked up uh, out in Vegas. Uh, I Oh, one of my fans, matter of fact, they DM me. One of them niggas, they, they posted my music on, on their story. But yeah. they ain't tagged me or nothing. They probably didn't even know who it was. But yeah. they just posted my video clip, like, and just quoted it. So I DM, bro, you feel me? We just, we just locked in. Uh... He invited me to the video shoot, the uh, Red Man, the Red Man video shoot. So, yeah, when I locked in, bro, we just, we just, it was real cool vibes, bro. Like you don't meet too many thorough niggas like that. Hell we, no. That, that's really my twin from across the way, bro. I'm my mama, like, we really similar vibes. Like that's really how we locked in. Bro. Yeah, like, for sure. For sure. Hell that nigga's yeah, out. man. I'm excited too, bro. You feel me? Br that, bring, bring them two sounds together and making something dope. For it's sure. gonna be crazy. Yeah, crazy. man. I know the fans gonna love it. You hear me? Right. On God. Um, Chop Beezus. Yeah. That record, man. Uh, <laughs> uh hey, we the party Sean did his shit with that one, man. He had to like the little twin hey. shit in that motherfucker. Me and Sean this year, we like, I'm trying, we like Kobe and Shaq. Like, crazy. he, 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 he be hitting me like, what is we doing? When is we shooting? Like, come on. And he be trying to put together real, like, he really like been a mentor and a real big brother to me when it come to this music. Like, yeah, he yeah. really believe in me. Yeah, nah, I, really, I, I can I, tell, bro. I, I fuck with that nigga with tough, you. like. Me. Yeah, we we finna go all the way together. Oh my mama, we, we oh god, keep 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 dropping them videos like that, like that Bob Saget, that that fucking yeah, skate pod, yeah, the way yeah. that motherfucker look, bro. Bro, his camera, his bruh. camera work is so crazy, so crazy. Nigga, stop sleeping on we the party shine, nigga. Like people don't fuck? be people be acting like he hella tax, but you better get them two hundred dollar video deals. He come to the bay every month, get you one, get, get you, you a, a nice deal. quality video. Exactly, bro. Even if it's a little point, running gun, point and shoot shit, just Thanks. at least better than the shit you was, you was getting before. Hey, I'm trying bruh. to tell y'all, man, it's gonna go a long way. Come quality on, quality over quantity. Qu for sure. Quality over qu every fucking time, bro. People people don't want to see hella content that's shitty. Thanks. Make sure your Instagram look right. Make sure your videos look right, bro. That's a fact, bro. Come on, man. Um, mental health check, man. Yeah. How you doing? Mentally. Shit, man. Mentally, man. I'm in great spirits, man. You Beautiful. feel me? I'm I'm staying consistent. I'm yeah. working. Keeping that paper in. Keeping the money coming in. My family straight. They yeah. taking care of us. So I, I can't complain, man. I'm too blessed. Yeah. I got a lot of big opportunities on the table right now. I'm just trying to keep my head on. Don't fumble. Stay consistent, yeah. you know. That's really what it is. Come keep on, my, man. Keep looking forward. Man, I love it. You feel me? Especially with, it's a lot of shit going on in the world, but I love that you keep the positivity and you like, okay, like, I'm feeling good right now. Shit's working out for me. I'm glad you're in that season right yeah, now. Because, you know, yeah. we have them seasons where we we don't feel good, our best. We don't, right. you know what I'm saying? So, 
I'm happy for you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm that. happy for appreciate you. For that. sure, for sure. Um, so Metaphor Master. Yeah. The cover art, is that inspired by the Afro Samurai? You already know. Yeah, man. I'm a cool. big anime man. Yeah, man. I man. Um, for people that haven't heard that project, what can you say about it? What like what makes people want to listen to it? Like you know, shit like that. I feel like if you if when you listen to rap, if you really listen to rap for lyrics. That's the project for you. That's really what I was making it for. Yeah. That's for the people who really just appreciate lyricism. Yeah, lyricism. We on. not, you know, some people they listen to music, they just want to hear the flow, a cool flow, like yeah. little baby. They want to hear the popping beats, but when it comes to my music, I feel like it's not about that. Some songs it's about that, but with this project, I just want the people to know, like, when you listen to Lil Wayne and Kendrick, I know I'm up there right with them. Come like, if, when you listen to that project, you can't. There's nothing you can say. What you gonna say? He can't rap. Right. You know, he ain't got bars. Like right. you listen to this and you you tell me who got more bars in this project. Or right. you you show me a project that got more bars in this. Come on. Nah. Yeah. Ain't nobody man. really do it, like, you know. For sure, for sure. Yeah. I, I love how every time you do a project, your cover art is super dope. Like, you feel me? Like you actually, you know, Cause some people, you know, they do the cover art. I feel like cover art matters too. Yeah. Like it be they do some shit on like, I don't know, fucking some type of website where it don't look professional or some shit like yeah. that, but it'd be cool, bro. Like the um, fuck, what was that one with the um, the first project, bro? The it's, it's something black, black something, um, bro. Not nah, uh, bro. You talking about one? ignorant music? Nah, it's another one, bro. Uh, it's a cartoon dude. Um, fuck, I, I'm I'm blanking out right now. Grease Grease Brothers. Not Grease Brothers. That's a, that's a dope. That's a dope one too. I do like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I do like that cover uh, art, but it's older. Music? No, it's older. It's one of your first projects, I believe. Talking Dirty. No. Let me see. We got Talking Dirty. It's like a it's a, it's from a cartoon, bro. That we used to watch when we was kids. Right, let me look the shit up, man. Nah, I think I know what you're talking about. Bruh, you're talking yeah. about the American dragon? The American fucking... Oh, African-American yeah, dragon? African -American yeah, African-American dragon, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I like that shit, too, man. Like, that oh, shit. Yeah, yeah that, that, that <laughs> shit. I love the concepts. Yeah. I just, like, taking my favorite shows and shit and just kind of putting myself in it. That's come really on. how I feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Are we going to get a Peso Playground 3? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I'm, I'm working on... It's probably going to drop at either the end of the year or next year. Yeah. But the next Pesos Playground, I'm working on that like over months and months too. Like yeah, all these sure. next projects I drop, I'm taking my time with. Right. I don't want to just rush, record a bunch of music in a month and drop. Anything, drop. Right. Like I'm really yeah. trying to take my time, pick the songs out, have choruses, features, all that type of stuff. I just want to elevate from the last one really. That's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to show. I like to show the progression with each project. I want you to hear like my quality getting better, my style getting better, right. everything getting upgraded. For sure, for sure, yeah. man. Let's let's get into some shows, man. What you be watching? Right now, man. Yeah, right now. I I just got done watching Power Book Two. Yeah. Fired up and Demon Slayer. That's a uh, anime. It's on yeah. Netflix. Mm -hmm. Super fired up. I'm about to watch that one. I ain't seen that one. Demon Slayer. Demon fired. Slayer. Okay. Demon Slayer and Power. That's been my shit. Oh, what's she been having me watch this one show. It's called like Love is Blind or something. My mama be watching that shit. I ain't seen that shit yet, but I heard it was good. You like it? I mean, I be laughing at that motherfucker. Yeah. It, it seemed fake as fuck. Like, All nigga, to, to, to get marry somebody you ain't never motherfucking met, you ain't, and they just talking to each other. That ain't gonna work for me. But I be laughing because, like, sometimes they they get they meet match up with an ugly ass motherfucker. Man, and even if you sick about it, I be. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, it's just one bitch. She wasn't even trying to kiss the nigga. I was like, oh yeah. That's how you know it's bad. But like, why, <laughs> bitch, why would you go on the show then? Why but the, the bitch was ugly herself show? though. So I was like, the whole time I'm like, bitch, I don't know who she thinks she is. Like, this bitch thinks she motherfucking. I don't know who she thought she was. <laughs> bitch, you not that one. Wait, better you on the same <laughs> level. You, you better give me? him a peck on the cheek, nigga. Oh god, oh god, bro. <laughs> uh, with Power Book Two, man, how'd you feel about the ending? You know they leaked that shit. I was hella mad. Oh, because, I watched it leak, bro. Tick, bro. I, I, on TikTok. Oh, my, my. Uh, me too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I watched the show. I watched the shit on TikTok too. No, but I was blowed as fuck. Cause I'm like, bro, I wanted to watch it on the TV. I wanted it to be a little clear. I was, I was blowed. At first, I was hella mad. I'm, I'm not finna watch it. And I just keep seeing people drop comments and talk about it. I'm like, let me go see what the fuck happened. Yeah. And I see my nigga, what? Braden, Brandon getting off with that. spread on them niggas. Was, yeah. Hey, whole week, I'm walking around like, this the realest nigga on my mama. I need this nigga on my oh. I need me a white boy. Everybody need a white boy like Everybody that. Everybody thought Braden was a bitch. I ain't gonna lie to hey, you too. I'm I like, he was pussy. A bitch he, the whole he, time. He 
Tyler, bro, he can't come on for Tariq, bro. That's his nigga. Hey, oh God, bro. That nigga shooting first, asking questions come later. Come on, bro. Nigga. I hope that nigga came. Type dead. Of nigga. I'm tired of Kane. I'm tired. I hope that nigga did. Kane, he, over, he a tender ass bitch made nigga. You see how he did over F? Man, you so sick about the bitch Effie. This Effie nigga. don't fuck with. No That's the thing, though. People don't realize Effie don't fuck with people like that for real. This she nigga, you, you all in the bathtub with the bitches some other time. Man. Somebody sloppy ass sex. Is this nigga rubbing her back and shit in the bath? I'm like, this nigga. That's the power right. Hey, power writers, if you seen this, y'all got my nigga Kane fucked up, bro. He a real gangster, bro. Stop, really stop trying to make him not a thug, bro. They be trying got to throw so soft if right you now. you gonna have him do some romance, bro, have it be some gangster shit, bro. Man. Stop doing my nigga like Come that. Come on, bro. Like, <laughs> that, that, that shit threw me off. I'm like, this <laughs> nigga trying to protect. He playing the bitch, the college twist and shit. I'm like, this <laughs> oh, nigga don't know no better, bro. God, that shit was crazy. Nah, niggas gotta do better, bro. Niggas gotta do better for sure. Uh, how you feel about the submarine situation with the, the, the fucking. How they, did you see that shit? How they got stuck underwater and shit like that? The Titanic? You play stupid games, you win stupid ass prizes. That's Bruh, how I feel about them it. Them motherfuckers paid 250 k to get on a submarine. Hey, and all I got to say is they signed the waiver, nigga. So, that, hey, I ain't got no thoughts. They knew, they knew what they was getting into. They knew what they was getting into. I don't know what people surprised about. They signed They signed the line. <laughs> right. It, they saw. They seen death on that paper about 30 times before they signed that bitch and signed it. So Come they, on, bro. And they paid a quarter mil. That's the crazy part. Like, bro, niggas will spend money on the craziest shit. Not they got too much money. That's they got too, too much, much fucking money. I don't feel bad. I don't care how much money I'm got. I got, bro. I'm not going to no submarine to look at. You could look at the Titanic on fucking that. YouTube, nigga. I, they could have gave me that to flip. Oh, Come my, on, my, bro. Like, niggas on me a honey piece. Come they want to get on the submarine, nigga. Right. Nigga, give me the money for give the submarine. Give me the money, bro. So I can, nigga, what? I'll take that money and do hella shit with that, bro. They be doing anything, bro. Fuck, the, act, man, fuck them people, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't, them, I don't feel bad. Bro. Don't feel been, bad rest rest in peace. You feel me? Uh, all love to the family. But hey, yeah, play stupid games, get a stupid ass prize. Cool. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, man. So, um, what can we be looking forward to from Mari Peso, man, in the future? Oh, man. Be, be looking forward to consistency, man. No more big ass, you know, breaks, pauses, droughts, months. Yeah, we tired of that shit. Right? No it's more. Right, I'm video next week, and I'm dropping back to 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 back. Come so, on. We excited, be bro. Be ready. For sure, for sure, man. And you know what? You actually have a following, too. That engages with your social media, yeah. engages with your, you know, your YouTube, and that's super important, bro. A lot of people do not have that, and I want to give you your flowers because I'm like, bro, the niggas is actually putting in that work and actually trying to make it and not complaining. People yeah. will complain that people not supporting them. Mm -hmm. That's not oh, the, this Lord ain't showing me love or so people, some these niggas ain't showing me love, bro. But you ain't sitting here complaining. You like I'm gonna just work. Like, everybody just want it handed to them. But Come it's on, not, it don't get you can't. Get handed respect. You gotta earn it. You gotta so, earn that shit. And I seen that, like I said, from just my career. The more I drop, the more I do, the more people give me props. If I Come stop on. dropping for a certain amount, motherfuckers get to unfollowing. Right. You. Motherfuckers stop talking. So it's like, if you don't stay consistent, stay in their faces, you can't expect people to want to stay tuned in. Come on. It's music at all. dropping every single week. Every, from everybody. So many different. It's every thousands of people that rap millions. Ain't nobody waiting on you all Come day on, to drop bro. some music. Unless you a nigga like, I don't know, fucking Kendrick Lamar, we'll wait on yeah, that nigga. Yeah, yeah, when you get, when you when establish you get, yeah, yeah. Establish, you can do shit like when that. When you coming up, people, you can't do and that's really why what I had to really think about my career and really fix that because I was really in that mindset. I was trying to kind of be too cool type yeah. of thing, but I'm like, no. If, really, what I put in my head, if you ain't charting and you ain't got a plaque, you ain't shit. That's right. really what I tell myself with this shit. Yeah. You a nobody. Right. So in my head, I'm a nobody. So right. I got to keep working like yeah. I'm a nobody. Yeah. And that's really... That's really how I'm going to get to where I'm trying to go. Oh, God, man. Please listen to this, man, y'all. It's very important to put in that work and not wait on nobody to pass a torch. Light your own shit. Literally. You can light your own shit, create your own platform. That's what we're doing over here at Vans and Weed. Niggas wasn't fuck with us at first. We made our own platform. Now everybody want to interview. You hear me? Facts. Yeah. Now they on. got A. You better... Hey, that lead submission form. Sign the form, man. It ain't good. It ain't you ain't just pulling up to Vans and Weed. It ain't good no more, man. You feel me? Mm. Oh God, bro. Uh, before we get up out of here, uh, is there anybody you want to shout out? Anything? Any anything you want to do? Oh man, shout out my supporters, man. Everybody supporting me, man. I'm so blessed. I appreciate everybody who like, comment. You know, you watch, you don't watch. You know, you shout me out. You know, everybody in my corner, my family, everybody supporting me. I got a big, big support system yeah. that keep me motivated. That's what keeps me important. going. So that's I just appreciate everybody. I feel in the love like crazy right now. These Hell last couple yeah. months being crazy support. Like I ain't dropped in a minute. So when I dropped that last video, I wasn't really even expecting it to, you know, do what it's doing right now. So right. I just 
the fact that everybody really fuck with me, I just appreciate it because you ain't got to, bro. So. Man, but the fact that yeah. people are taking their time to actually sit down and watch your shit is it's a blessing. Just, man. It's a blessing, it's a blessing man. man. Everybody, like I said before, everybody do not have that when they're doing music. Yeah. Sometimes it takes people years to get the numbers that you touched with your first song. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So keep doing your shit, man. That's all I can say, I'm bro. on it, man. Um, this has been another segment of Sparking Up a Vans and Weed, man. We got Mark Pace all outside with us once again, man. Please follow him on all platforms. You on all platforms, right? Yeah. Apple Music, all that shit, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. You got TikTok? Mm-hmm. Yep, no good ENT. Hey, no good ENT hey, TikTok. Hey, hey. Wait, before we before we get up out of here, bro, I gotta talk about how you niggas were working at Home Depot throwing <laughs> shit down. Hey, I'm gonna insert the video if I can find that motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker had hey. to. <laughs> I'm telling you, I done had a billion hustles. Like some niggas be like, I don't work. I do anything for, but I'm going to work. Then I get off the trap after. Come nigga. On. I'm getting every single bag. I just. I'm scared I, to work. I, I gotta have money coming in, but I'm not gonna sit on my ass. I'm not gonna wait for nothing. Come so. on, man. But yeah, we we used to be fucking around. We we used to get fired from hella <laughs> jobs because we kept working together. Y'all wasn't doing now shit. we we wouldn't work together no more. Right. If we was in a job. Yeah, but hell no. When nah, you bro. young, you feel me? You just you have been doing this shit. shit. Yeah, for sure. All right, matter of fact, let me. I'll tell you this one funny story. So hey, tell me. so the reason why we got fired from Home Depot, I remember. So we used to we used to just talk hella much. So one time I get we was just having a good ass conversation about something. So. I had to take a box all the way to an aisle, like hella far. So yeah. I'm like, bruh, walk, walk this box. We'll be like, right. we're going to hold it together yeah, type right, shit. Right, and right. we're going to talk while we go. Right, right. But, bruh, the box, like this big, like, it's small as fuck. So. Y'all, <laughs> 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 oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Y'all I'm fucking around for like real. This. So we walk. So, like, two hours go by after the shit by. So we get called, we get called to the nigga desk. We come. Yeah. Nigga, he, the boss, he just walk over. He just, he toss the boss, the box with one hand onto the table. Boom. <laughs> It just, you just watch it float in the air. Then hit the ground. He's, he's like, that took two of y'all to carry. <laughs> y'all ain't doing shit that damn job. I want to fire y'all ass too. Y'all carrying this little ass box. Y'all ain't doing shit. What, nigga? I ain't gonna lie. I got, I got fire from Home Depot too, nigga. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck a Home Depot, nigga. We bands and weed now, bitch. Oh, oh my God. Mama. But for real, man. Like I said, I'm proud of you, man. Keep doing your shit, man. Thanks, man. Uh, drop the project so we can see what the fuck is going on, man. Some I videos and shit. I got you. Thank you for bringing me out, man. For sure, man. Anytime, bro. Come back when you got some more music. Niggas get a little bigger. I got Come you. conversate with know, us, man. man, so we could, you know. Get it, get it done, man. For sure, for sure. Like yep. I said, this has been another oh, second. Oh, this is my first official interview, by the way. First official interview, this, man. Yeah, I wasn't doing it with nobody but Vans and Weed. You know? was the only one. Come no, on, man. Nobody hey, else. That's love too, bro. Cause you could have did interviews with fucking anybody. I, I made sure it was gonna be you first. You see, I, I, we had this plan, nigga, for months. For months. Months. Man, I, I ain't going with nobody else. Come on, man. God bless you, my brother. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, we out. Yes, sir.